Whenever I quote the scripture, the Bible, to the Muslims, they always say, your Bible is corrupt. How can we refute that? I follow the example of the Apostle Paul in Acts 17, 28. Paul would actually quote the very sources mm -hmm. that the particular group he was reaching believed in to prove his point. Mm -hmm. Therefore, since Muslims mean the Quran, I will appeal to the Quran to prove that as Muslims who follow the Quran, they must accept the authority of Scripture. Mm -hmm. Now, you need to qualify <clears throat> your use of the Quran because a Muslim can tell you, well, you don't believe the Quran, why are you quoting it? And my response is, I'm quoting it because you believe it. And I'm sh showing you what your book tells you about my book. Mm -hmm. The simple fact of the matter is that in the Quran, Muslims are told to confirm the scriptures in the possession of the Jews and Christians at the time of Muhammad. Mm -hmm. There are plenty of passages in the Quran, and I'll just give one as an example. Chapter 2, verses 40 to 43, <clears throat> and then chapter 5, verses 43 to 48. There we are told that the scriptures of the Jews and Christians are the revelations of God, and that the Quran confirms that these scriptures are authoritative and have never been changed. So if a Muslim is faithful to the Quran, he has to accept the Bible. But if he accepts the Bible, he has to accept Jesus as his Lord and Savior. Thank you.